This Minnesota Timberwolves coaching staff is an all-out disaster. I'm stop running drop coverage! You need backside help. So if I ice the screen and keep Kyrie Irving to the sidelines, now there's no place for Daniel Gafford to roll to. There's backside defenders everywhere. You're in your idiot, brain-dead, stupid drop coverage. So Rudy Gobert's in a two-on-one. There is no backside help. So Gafford's catching this inside the block at the charge circle. Drop coverage is not defense. Stop doing it. Ice the I'm not letting Kyrie Irving walk in the paint. So if I ice the screen and keep him to the sidelines, again, there's no place for Daniel Gafford to roll to. Backside help everywhere. Nope, let's run drop coverage. So Daniel Gafford's just going to screen Mike Conley. That allows Kyrie Irving into the lane. And then one more screen on Rudy Gobert. And you just created a layup line. This is gross. Is Julius Randle doing? Guard the ball. My only focus is the basketball. Just guard the ball. I think when Kyrie, if he sets a screen, you'll guard the screen. Then look at Julius Randle. He's already leaning towards what he thinks is a screen. So this is now right to the rim. Draw help from Gobert over and over. What does this happen off a made basket? How? You don't see this in middle school. The shot's in. Could Anthony Edwards, could everybody get back, please? Look at this. Off a made basket. The Mavericks are inbounding the ball. How is it one pass there and one pet? No one's back. This is a complete joke. Chris Finch is a complete joke. This is not how you guard down screens. Get attached with your arms extended so Luka Doncic can't curl. Where's Gobert, defensive player of the year? Attached, arms extended. Nope, Luka Doncic curls right off that into the paint. Bucket plus one. Awful. To count the mistakes. How does this again, Jaden McDaniels? Just guard the ball. You can't lean towards screens early. When De Luka Doncic comes off the screen, you'll guard it then. Eh, leaning towards the screen early, get blown by. But what's DiVincenzo doing here? You're not in help. Why are you going to stare at the ball for an hour? See ball and man. Look at this. You're staring at the ball for eight hours, wide open. Naz Reed, do you get where your help is? You're switched on to Luka Doncic. This is a mismatch. Jaden McDaniels gets underneath the screener. Julius Randle's waiting at the elbow. Say something! So Naz Reed knows, okay, all I gotta do is keep Luka Doncic to the middle of the floor. Just show my hands, slide my feet, keep him to the middle of the floor where there's help. Instead, Naz Reed's coming up and gambling immediately. So now you're blown by a way from any help. First of all, why is Joe Ingles slowly creeping up to guard Luka Doncic? Just stay back. Slide your feet. Show your hands. As you're creeping up here to guard him, he's just going to blow right by you. Now, the problem is, though, Jaden McDaniels does a great job in help. Naz Reed has got to stay home. Jaden McDaniels can help, and he can recover. Naz Reed, if you step up and help, this is a lob. Like, Jaden McDaniels is, look at that, right there in the gaps, the dribble's picked up. So, Naz Reed, you gotta stay home. Like, this dribble's picked up, Luka Doncic is off balance. You can't step up here. Just so undisciplined defensively. This is coaching! Anthony Edwards, please just guard Klay Thompson. Please. Why are you coming out for the worst gamble ever? For the worst gamble ever. Anthony Edwards, defensively, no. Never. My back is never to the sideline. I'm always underneath Kyrie Irving, who I'm guarding, with my back to the baseline. Seeing ball and man. Your back is to the sideline. So, of course, you're getting beat back door here. This draws help. This Minnesota Timberwolves coaching staff is absolutely destroying this team. Julius Randle, you got switched on to Kyrie Irving here. So your help is in the middle of the floor right here. Mike Conley's got to communicate this. So Julius Randle, stop. I need to flip my hips because this is where my help is. This is where my help is. Why do the Timberwolves never know where help is coming? Up. Keep him to the middle of the floor. You got your hips flicking. If he was going to beat you straight line, he'd be right to the rim. Also, you're backpedaling. Step back three. It's the same thing. It's this crap Minnesota Timberwolves coaching staff. Jaden McDaniels, your back has to be to the baseline. So Luca's underneath. You're seeing ball and man. Your back's to the sideline. Obviously, again, you're getting beat back door. Again. <laughs> Dante DiVincenzo. Does this look like a well-coached team? Like a, like a really well-coached, buttoned-up team? 
What is Dante DiVincenzo doing? Can we see ball and man? Do the Timberwolves ever see ball and man away from the ball? Because look at Dante DiVincenzo. What, you, you have your back to your man. What, what, you're not in help. What are you looking at the ball for? So, of course, Naz Reed again gets switched on to Kyrie Irving, and again, you don't know where your help is. It's right here in the middle of the floor. So you get beat right here. So Anthony Edwards now drops to the paint. On your recovery right here, just get out. Just get out. Why do you need to gamble again? Why is this Minnesota Timberwolves coaching staff employed? Rudy Gobert. Okay, you're taking Derek Lively in transition. You want to make sure you communicate that you've got Lively. So Nikhil Alexander-Walker knows you're good, and he can go to the wing right here. I doubt there's any communicating because Nikhil Alexander-Walker is still standing in the middle of the floor. So we got two people guarding Derek Lively. <sighs> Can't just not guard ball screens here. What am I doing about this first screen? Why can't we just switch it? It's Nikhil Alexander-Walker and Anthony Edwards. You can't do nothing. Nikhil Alexander-Walker just got screened. So now he's still trying to fight over the top of that first screen and now leaning this way. So now he has no hope of being able to get underneath this screen at the same time as Kyrie Irving because he's already leaning one way. So that's an open three. This is such a disaster. Look at these pile of brain-dead idiots. Never do I want Luka Doncic in the lane ever. Why am I not hedging, keeping him out of the lane? There's no place for Gafford to roll to uh, Nas Reed standing and waiting. Nope, you're going to be in drop coverage. So Luka Doncic just gets to walk in the lane. Walk in the lane. You could put someone from the stands, and they'd get in the lane on this pick-and-roll defense. Walk in the lane. Now he's too deep. The FBI needs to investigate this. This is a disgrace. This is the same play. Why are you letting Luka Doncic in the lane? Why am I not up hedging and pushing him out? There's no place for Gafford to roll to. Why does Luka Doncic, whenever he wants to, gets in the lane off a ball screen? And again, he's too deep. This is just more drop coverage crap. Nikhil Alexander-Walker! Why am I not icing this screen to keep Kyrie Irving to the sidelines? If Jaden McDaniels is where he's supposed to be, he'd be right here in backside help with Derek Lively. Devin Chenzo's in backside help too if you need it. But again, this is just drop coverage. You let Kyrie Irving walk into the lane, walk into the lane, walk into the lane, pull up jumper. I mean, just count the mistakes. Jaden McDaniels, no, you never go up the gut of a down screen. Stay with Luka Doncic, you chase over the top. So that's why you're going to get beat, because you're trying to go up the gut for some reason. Now, on this pass to Luka Doncic, Dante DiVincenzo should be immediately rotating down so he's in the gaps. Immediately. So when Luka Doncic comes this way, we get a chance to stunt, get his dribble picked up, and recover. Let's see what DiVincenzo does. Hangs out at half court with Klay Thompson. McDaniels isn't ready to guard because he tried to go up the gut. There's no gap help, and Luka Doncic is right back in the lane. So now the Timberwolves are switching. First of all, Nikhil Alexander-Walker should be underneath the screener on the switch so he's in the gaps. Julius Randle, of course, he switches over the top. But Julius Randle, this is a mismatch you guarding Kyrie Irving on the perimeter. So don't gamble. I mean, do you ever communicate help? Jaden McDaniels is waiting in help. Just get up and guard. Keep Kyrie Irving to the strong side of the floor. There's help. Nope. Look at Julius Randle. Instantly coming out to gamble. Boom. Blown by and away from help. How does this happen? This is garbage coaching. Klay Thompson setting a cross screen for P.J. Washington. This is not an option. Dante DiVincenzo has to jam P.J. Washington as he comes through this cross screen so Jaden McDaniels can get on the other side. You don't touch him. Pfft. Here we are again. Julius Randle's on the perimeter with Kyrie Irving. Mismatch. Anthony Edwards is loading up and is here in the gaps. Is someone saying something, though, to Julius Randle to get keep Kyrie Irving to the strong side of the floor there's help and just show your hands and slide your feet? Don't gamble! Get up and keep him coming to help. Instead, what does Julius Randle do? Eh, gamble, and now you end up backpedaling off that in an open triple. This is yet again coaching off a trap. McDaniel, they swing the ball to the corner. Rudy Gobert's got to take Doncic. It's obviously a mismatch, right? Julius Randle's coming here to take Derek Lively. You got to drop and get in the gaps right here. Look at Jaden McDaniels' pass. What do you do? Get in the... I, I cannot let Luka Doncic go one-on-one -on -one with Rudy Gobert. I got to be here so I can stunt and recover. You don't rotate down. It, two...